Hey, it's Danny Tato. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, the Steam slash Premium Edition. Uh, we are under siege once again by a uh, pretty uh, substantial uh, necromancer undead siege. Uh, you can see some guys over here. I'm going to zoom in this a little bit. Some guys down here. Uh, hanging out all these night experiment guys and then a whole bunch of these guys that just kind of for whatever reason make my skin crawl seeing this many of these things i don't know what it is the archives for dwarf fortress to serve a, a huge raise uh they did a great job um they're all over the map um there's undead goblins humans elves uh more experiments kicking around i mean pretty much everything and then uh at the end of the last episode uh we realized that our butcher shop had a whole bunch of various sort of dead bodies and body parts mostly that can be reanimated here we have uh the hair of a kangaroo buck um we have horse hair llama wool alpaca wool um and then over here mule hair alpaca wool and donkey hair um doing a slight bit of research um it's been a couple days since i recorded but doing a little bit of research the quick research I did, I found that these are actually relatively easy to fight. I, I think there was a, a bug years ago when I used to play where they were essentially indestructible, these these hairs and fibers and things that would be reanimated. So uh, that's not too bad. And plus, I was kind of freaking out last episode uh, when this happened. But honestly, we're fine. We, we're, we're bridged in here, uh, walled in with this bridge. So uh, not super worried about it. Uh, these two war dogs, we'll see. I don't know if they can take these or not. We'll, we'll kind of find out in a second um but you know whatever we'll we'll be fine we're 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 protected um the big thing i want to do here is i am completely reinvigorated with absolutely as soon as possible as soon as this siege gets off our map um what i want to do is spend this entire time while the siege is here building up a a at least one other squad um we have our holy net trees here um that are pretty good squads decked out in steel uh, armor, weapons, whatnot. Um, I want to make one more squad at least. Uh, and so my goal right now is over the next several months, just sort of churn out as many steel weapons, steel armor, steel everything, um, and set up uh, at least one more squad, if not a third. And what we're going to do is as soon as the siege is out of here, we are going to head to that Necromancer Tower and we're going to absolutely burn it to the ground. Um, I'm over this like every couple of months these guys come in here. Uh, especially with their increasing numbers, it's just going to keep bringing things to a halt. Uh, we have other things to worry about. We got wear skinks, we got, um, you know, uh, uh, caverns that we got to deal with, and, and it, uh, I'm over it. So uh, let's go ahead and start here. Um, let things run for a second. We'll see what happens here with the. I don't think the dog's going to have much, much. Oh, look at that. Dog shredded everything, and he's fine. Let's go. Ooh. Well, he's. I don't know about fine, but he's okay. He's not okay, but it's okay. Uh, intruders. What was this? Hold on. Oh, just more. They're raising everything here. Ah, uh, so bad. Where is this other necromancer? If I remember correctly, there was like a capybara man or something necromancer as well. Okay, that kitten's dead. Yeah, skeletons are tough. Uh, the hair and whatnot is not so bad. Hello. Uh oh, locking up for a second. Uh, the the hair and whatnot, the little body parts, are not so bad. But it's the uh, man. Hold on, I'm, I'm locking up pretty bad here. Give me one second. Good. Is there like fire on the map or something? Or no, we're we're going okay. What is this? Cat skeleton scratches a stray cat. Another cat getting killed again. I can't control where the animals go, so we just kind of let what happen happens. Uh, just the way it is. Stray war dog. All right, so this is annoying here. Yeah, they're just they're gonna keep going at it for a while with this uh, cat skeleton. They're Unless you have some sort of blunt object that you can just pulverize it with, they're kind of indestructible. So they're gonna they're gonna take out these war dogs, and that'll be that. Hopefully they'll just path away, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So, but that's fine. We have plenty of war dogs to spare. So 
And in the meantime, our uh, mayor has decided it's a great time to demand slash uh, forbid certain items. So we need to make three flasks, which is kind of annoying. I, don't, I think they cause issues, but let's just make three S. Uh, sorry, let's make them iron. We'll just do three of them. I'll just get it over with so he's not too annoyed. Who's fighting now? Cat skeleton and the ward on still. Yeah, just... The good news is they do very little damage, obviously, because our war dog's not putting up a big fight here. And we have a fey mood, because we can't go more than four seconds without something happening, so that should be fine. Uh, what is still happening here? Hold on. Let's take a look. I'm doing the shift scroll here, which is like a page at a time, just to show you how much this is going off. Uh... Someone's skeleton scratches the emu. Oh, so something's killing an emu. Yeah, unfortunately, with the there's minimal tweaks you can do with the text, uh, the announcement text file. Um, so like, it'd be nice to set like a limit on like, you know, just scratching an emu in the head repeatedly over and over again. So we're gonna deal with that. It's fine. We'll deal with the <clears throat> popcorn sound. Uh, <clears throat> looks like our guy here uh, grabbed a stoneworker shop, which is nice. We might get a nice piece of uh, furniture out of this, which would be pretty cool. Jet block, siltstone, jet, and talc, and radiant cut green tourmaline. Tur tourmalines. I don't, I don't. I've never known how to say any of these words. I usually like played for so many years without saying anything out loud. So you just say it in your head, and then you say it out loud, and it sounds weird. Some more gems, some cloth. And he's still grabbing stuff. Uh, Goblin Pikeman stabs a warlord. Okay. Oh, that's our, like, uh, fish dude, right? Cave fish guy? Is he winning the fight? He's tired. He's healthy. Oh, he's bleeding. Overexerted. Healthy. Overexerted. There's just, like, an insane... Hold on. I gotta see, like, some of the details on this. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I just wanna see. Uh... Oh, and there's the emu stuff going on too. So, Goblin Pikeman Corpse scratches the Warlord in the head, but the attack is deflected by the Warlord's small Warlord's small steel hump. So he's got a small. That's interesting. I've never seen that. I've only seen the large and then the normal sort of dwarven-sized things, but he's got a small helm. So we got multiple things going on on the surface right now. I really want to see who's going to win this. You only are wearing a helmet. Oh well, you lost your weapon. Why oh, you keep dropping it? And you have a silver spear and an iron shield. Uh, I'm gonna go with the warlord on this one. What are your skills? Proficient shield, skilled spearman, skilled armor. How about you? Nothing I can see. I don't know if that really means something, but man, that is annoying. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's drop some audio here. Drop some sound effects down a little bit. Let's see if that's better. All right. A little bit less loud popcorn. And now it stops. Weird. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's just pummeling his head. The goblin pikeman corpse is pummeling the warlord's uh, cavefish guy. Uh, his head, but his steel helmet is just absolutely dominating and deflecting everything, so he just can't hurt him. So he's just lying there taking it, but nothing is happening. Like, attack is deflected. Spam. Oh, oh he's he's fighting back now. So yeah, I, th I think he's gonna... I feel like he should win. Maybe not. I don't know. The thing is, he has the worst weapon. Like, a spear really... It's not useful here. But anyways. Alright, so what we want to do here... Oh, this is really annoying. Like, really annoying. 
I might have to. I'm just gonna for now. I know it's kind of. I hate doing this. Just do one percent. That'll be fine. Um, just because it's gonna go on for months. I'm not gonna have you guys listen to that or myself for for that long. All right. So what we want to do here is we want to set up some new uh, steel armor. So we'll do steel helm, another ten. Uh, we'll do steel or yeah, steel mail shirt. Let's do steel greaves. We'll do steel gauntlets. Uh, steel high boot. Am I missing something? What did I? What do I have here? Mail shirt, greaves, gauntlet, high boot. I think that's everything. <clears throat> I'm also going to do steel shields. I don't think I did that one before, so I'm actually going to set this to 20. So just to make sure everyone, I'm pretty sure a few in our <clears throat> first squad have uh, steel shields or some sort of shield. I just want to make sure I have enough. So we'll just do 20 and just whatever, overkill is fine. And then we're going to do steel. I'm just going to, or not hammers, sorry, steel battle axe. We're gonna do 10 of those. And then um, I wanna check and see how many silver bars we have. Cause I want, okay, we only have seven. <clears throat> I'll do like, I don't know, two or three hammers for now. And hopefully we'll get more steel as we smelt more tetrahedrate. Okay, so two children. The rabbit was starved to death. Where? Do I need to? Do I need to pasture rabbits? It's been so long that we've had some rabbits here. Let's go ahead and just make sure we pasture all of our rabbits, I guess. Maybe there's only one and I just never did it and he just lasted a very long time or like randomly was able to feed and then wasn't because of the burrows. No, he's not assigned to burrows though, right? Animals don't get assigned? Weird. I did not think rabbits had to just because He's, I'm pretty sure that guy's been around for a long time. Oh, well. All right, so one starved to death. A war dog, yeah, the two war dogs are dead. Stray cat was dead. We saw two cats die. And then two children are dead. I'm pretty sure that's all expected. Um, and just the way it is. Bunch of fighting, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get back to... Uh, are you still looking for stuff? You need cut gems. What else? Silk cloth. We should have a ton of that. Tanned hides. Cut gems. Bones. Oh, you can't access bones. Okay, so we need to build a new butcher shop here. Oh, I don't want to do that. That would be a mistake. Because of the necromancers. Do we have bones in here? We do. I'm going to very quickly just paint a spot to raise the bridge okay so the the pros and cons here i can let this guy i can wall off this uh let me close this i can wall off this workshop here let this guy go crazy because he's not gonna be able to complete because i'm pretty sure what he needs is bones and I'm, I'm right. He has he has at least one of everything else he has. So he might need more of something, but I'm pretty sure I have gems that are cut. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of silk cloth. I'm pretty sure I have tons of leather. Um, obviously, I have a ton of stone. Um, I'm pretty sure the only thing he needs here is bones. Um, the only way to get bones is going to be to lower this bridge. So either I let him go crazy, wall it off, and just take that as an L and just go with it. Or... I lower this bridge, allow him to path to our butcher shop, get the bones, come back, raise the bridge again, and hope no nothing too terrible gets in. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, if nothing else, it'll be a little more exciting uh, and fun. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my squad prepared. So get my squad, give them a move order, and I'm going to go right below... No, I'm going to go right where the bridge is. Put them there. Done. Go away. Um, and that will put my squad there. As soon as they're assembled there, I'm going to lower the bridge. Um, I'm going to edit my burrow here just to allow... 
I don't want everyone to do this though. But I'm, I'm, it's just whatever. We're gonna have to just accept it. I'm guessing. Um, all right, so they can go there. So what I want is, and I'm gonna do like very specific. I'm gonna try to make it like you can go here, you can go here, and then like. like highlight all of this and make sure that took because I right clicked all right so you should be able to path up the stairs up the ramp get your bones go back down and get in and then and hopefully there's not too many people that try to take this path oh man okay so I want the inner, so that's east, that's west, so I want this one to open up. So I'm going to pull this lever. Actually, oh, let me cancel this for now. Let's wait till my military gets in the right spot. So I'm going to play this for a little bit. Wait till my military starts showing up. Okay, where's my military? Do I have to like confirm the move order? Did I not do that? Move here. Yeah, you should do it. Another one of these guys, ghost risen up. All right, you add. Let's just solve this real quick. Uh, lore, L O R, ghost, man. Oh, it's these children is what it is. Oh, I should have saved their names. Let's see if I can find the other one real quick. I wish it, again, filtered for like, hey, this person died and is not ghost. That's lore. But I don't think I can tell the other one. Does it say? Doomed. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to see. It. I'll just wait till they turn into a ghost. I guess it sucks because it it adds negative thoughts to some of our guys, but we'll deal with it. Um, why is my military not showing up? Is what I want to know. Still water skin. This is a problem, and it's not it needs to not be happening. Why do I have water skins? Anyways, the rest of the numbers seem to be saying station, which is good. Uh, at least some of them are. So let's see if they start showing up now. It's possible they're just passing to get... Okay, they're starting to show up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to start pulling this lever here. Just hit pull, and I'm not I'm not even going to prioritize it. It's a pretty high priority job by itself, so... Um, and then actually what I want to do is I want to follow you... See if you start moving when this gets pulled. All right, pulled it. Is it gonna pass? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Get down, get down, get down. Okay. Go, 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 go. Okay. All right, now I'm going to make my squad no longer here because this guy's standing on this. The two guys are standing on the bridge, and I do not want that to happen. Um, first off, actually, let me erase the burrow thing here as I do no, lo I no longer want this to exist because it will cause all kinds of problems. I don't know why I painted it that way, but whatever, except. All right, and then get rid of that squad. You guys cancel. So you guys are going to go away. Okay. What'd you drop? Flask. Okay. I don't know how I got flasks. How did that happen? Oh, I made them. That's right. The stupid mayor. Oh, God. Okay. Please. Oh, and we're going to prioritize it and just make sure nothing else comes in. What is this? The skeleton. Why is he not? Is he like friendly now? Because that puppy just passed right through him and nothing happened. 
inside, 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 inside. Okay, he began his construction. Good. So we're solved there. And everyone made it in. The flask went flying. You saw that? That's pretty cool. Alright, we're good. 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 People fighting. Cave Fishman and the Goblin Pikeman are still in this epic battle. This is one for the ages, man. Just still going. Just Pikeman pounding his head. And every once in a while, the, the Warlord recovers, the Cave Fish Man, and he starts hitting him back. See, right here. I think eventually the Cave Fish, fish Man is going to win. Eventually he's going to win. Like, the red text is him just pounding his helmet and doing nothing. And then you'll see some, like, blue text, like light blue text there, and that's him bashing the pikeman corpse in the left hand with the shaft of his silver spear, bruising the muscle, bruising the bone. Like, eventually he's going to land a blow on his head. We got wear skinks popping up. We don't care about those. We're doing just fine. Anyways. So much going on. My goodness. Okay, we need to finish these bedrooms. It's been like five episodes of trying to finish these bedrooms here. Oh, EFH. Use closest material. Keep building. Click, click, click. Click. So those are done. Go this way. All right, BF end. Get some cabinets going. Make sure, oops, make sure they're in the same spots. There's so much pathing going on in my map right now between my dwarves and whatnot. Uh, a stillstone figurine of Ustuth lens cleans. She offers it to the evergreen here. All right, a stillstone figurine. All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. Sounds nice. See if we have any more. No, nope, didn't think so. All right, let's take a look at that object here. Artifact, the red boat, that's what it's called. <clears throat> Stillstone figurine of Ustuth lens cleans, all craft door ship is of the highest quality. The item is a masterfully designed image of Ustuth lens cleans, the dwarf and dwarves in Siltstone by Olin whatever. Ustuth lens cleans is surrounded by the dwarves. The arc relates to the ascension of the dwarf Ustuth lens cleans to the position of Baroness of the closed books in 61. So this is pre our fort. It is encrusted with tangler talc cabochons and octagon cut fire agates decorated with alpaca bone and circled with bands of trillion cut sardonyxes cave spider silk and alpaca leather this object is adorned with hanging rings of jet and menaces with spikes of green tourmaline and horse leather on the item is an image of the red boat the siltstone figurine oh so he it's a recursive object he put an image of the artifact on the artifact which is nice Fifteen thousand dwarf bucks that is incredibly expensive and valuable that is awesome love it ban on exports i'm just gonna guess it's gonna be uh flasks oh backpacks cool whatever don't care because i'm going to sell those flasks if i can all right we have all kinds of steel going on which is good pig iron going of course, some of these not being used. I'm going to have to set up workshop orders here individually. It's just the way we have to micromanage it right now. It's kind of frustrating. That's the way it is. <clears throat> are these bedrooms all set up? They are, but they're not completely kitted out, some of them. But that's fine. Making coffers. That's good. We did get a... Uh, did we get a clothing industry? Or is that my other... That might be my other fort. My personal one here that I'm like, kind of messing around with. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's set that up. I think we're good to set that up now. Um, I'm mostly going to do cloth. Uh, so I'm just going to type cloth here and then look at the different things we have. So I'm going to do things like, I don't know. Let's do cloth cloak. Uh, cloth. We'll do dresses for whoever wants them. Um, and again, this helps also level up your clothes maker, clothier, or whatever they're called. Uh, let's do hoods because that's cool. Um, shirts we'll do for cloth. Uh, 
We need cloth socks. Socks are legendary in Dwarf Fortress lore. I can't believe how many Cyclops and Titans and whatnot have come with bearing socks and just beating the crap out of fortresses. Uh, we did socks. We do shoes out of leather, so we'll skip those. We'll do trousers out of cloth. And a lot of loincloths. And I think that's mostly it. I don't care about mittens so much. We're not in a super cold biome anyways. We'll just keep it at that. And now, so what I'll do instead of cloth is I'll jump to leather. Um, not show, shoe. We'll do a bunch of leather shoes. So we'll just do, um, I'll alter all these. Let's just do like two of each of these. And, uh, and then set some limits here. So uh, as long as we have less than, less than two, less than three. Wait, amount of cloaks available less than three. Yeah, so if we have less than three, we'll make another two. So we'll get a couple extra if we need it. So that's cloaks. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, dresses, same thing. Uh, hoods, we'll do the same thing. Dirt. Nope, this, I want two. I'm getting, I'm getting confused on my buttons here. Too much going on. Uh, not two, I want three. Alright, socks. Boom. Boom, three. Trousers, same thing. So many buttons that look exactly the same or are the exact same. And then these guys for shoes. Two, three. And I, I think this pairs of like trousers and shoes and whatnot and socks, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm hoping. If not, whatever. We we'll keep making more until everyone has a pair. So um so that sets up this kind of industry in this level for the most part. So that's good. Less alerts, which is fewer alerts. Oh, as I say that, hold up. So they're shooting, uh, oh, themselves? I don't know. Someone got hit with a crossbow bolt. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and lift up, uh, raise the sound a little bit here now that seems like someone survived, won this battle. And it was not our Kfish man, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. And that's just goes to show you how like overpowered some of these guys are. Is he he's not even holding a spear anywhere. He's just just got a helmet and it's just a bunch of blood all over him from the cave fish man. So uh but yeah. Oh man, they are just like tearing up the ground here. It's all revealing the sand now. Yeah. So many of these guys. Hopefully there aren't that many kicking around at their site because I mean, I don't really care. I'm sending two squads over there. Um I did do a little bit of research on raiding uh, I couldn't find a specific answer to, like, how many people should I send to a Necromancer Tower? I, I, I couldn't quite find that. Um, and I, I like I said in previous episodes, I have not done a whole lot of that. But we're going to. I don't care. I'll send two squads, 20 guys, full of steel. Uh, profit punching. Okay. Did the profit survive? I'm guessing no, but we'll see. Nope. Human crossbow wind, corpse bashes the prophet in the head, and the injured part explodes. So yeah, that guy's dead. Sorry, prophet. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, we're definitely gonna kit out two squads full of dwarves and just send them out there and Godspeed. You know, we'll see what happens. So it's just the way it's gonna have to be, and and it'll be science. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll learn. <clears throat> All right, let's do some of these guys over here. Get these bedrooms finished up while I have a moment to think about it. We're a short one cabinet, which is fine. It'll probably finish pretty soon. All right, we're making cloaks, which is pretty sweet. You can see he's wearing one. Uh, let's see Lob here. Uh, rope reed cloak, which is actually a nice one. Finely crafted rope reed cloak, nice. This adds more happiness again when their clothes get worn down, they get upset. So if they can't find more, you know, they're annoyed. So sure, let's just have a dragon join now too. 
the dragon Tol Ostriushnil Kara has come. A gigantic reptilian creature as it is magical and can breathe fire. This might, by the way, be the end of the four tier. Um, I've, I've, on the Dwarf Fortress subreddit, there are countless threads of people posting their, you know, dragons coming and just absolutely burning everything down and between the smoke and the fire, just, you know, FPS death. So I have both a dragon and a gigantic siege of undead. I cannot wait to see what is about to happen here. So uh, I'm going to hit OK here and hopefully it stays paused. Right, I'm pausing it right away. Uh, these monsters live for a thousand years. Cool. There he is. Just take a look. Any issues here? Description. Nothing. Quite durable. Slow to tire. He's skinny. Okay. Any thoughts? Memories? No. Personality. An iron will. Very good feel for social relationships and a good kinesthetic sense. But he has very bad analytical abilities, very bad intuition, and quite poor focus. He's a private person and freely share. Oh, he's not a private person. And for else, what can I say? And freely shares details of his life, prefers that everyone live harmoniously as possible. <sighs> I have so much to say about that. He takes offered help and gifts without feeling particularly grateful. He tends to consider what others think of him. He rarely feels discouraged. He is assertive. He doesn't try to get things done perfectly. He tends not to be swayed by emotional appeals. Cool. And that's all we got from him. Any kills? 39 notable kills. Goblins, dwarves, humans, goblins. Goblins, dwarves, goblins, dwarves, goblins. An elf. Good job. And then 40 other kills that were non-notable. Beak dogs, llamas, goblins, water buffalo. All right. I'm just dying to see what happens here. Enemy of everyone, of course. All right, let's see. And if this is the end of the fort, this is it. We'll, we'll see what happens. Pretty sure he can burn down my bridge. But here we go. Boom. Oh my god. Just... Hold on. I want to get some descriptions of this. <laughs> Okay, the dragon claws the human crossbow corpse in the head and it's never part. Okay, so one 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 swipe of the claw, cut off his head, which kills obviously the undead guy. And now he's caught in his own fire. But he's healthy. And he's tough, which sucks. More fire. Ugh, everything's fine, guys. Everything's fine. Oh, oh, wrong button. I always do the, instead of control, I hit shift and it zooms a little bit. Alright, there he is. Do you have any issues? He says he's, he's fine. Looks like he's on fire. But he's doing okay. Let's follow him. Humans upper body is full for the impact of the dress on. Alright, so fires are burning out, which is nice. So we're not like just having complete FPS. Our FPS are actually doing okay for this. All right, going this way, launching a bunch of flames. Oh, sure, go after the kangaroo. There's a bunch of undead guys, but go after the kangaroo. That's fine. Hold on. Make sure I stick with him here. Not the kangaroo, though. You. Yeah, okay, we still are. Something collapsed. Yeah, all the trees are going to burn down. We're going to get a bunch of something collapsed messages. It's just the way it is. A fire. Going after this guy. And they're dead. Alright, this might be... It's probably not, but it might be okay. If he just goes around and just destroys pretty much everything on the map, other, you know, on the surface, would be great. Alright. Smoke, a fire. You're still healthy. So you, you're you probably, like, fireproof, right? You, like, have to be. 497 years old. God. Yeah, all the collapsing messages. <clears throat> Anything else you want to do, bud? Or are you just going to hang out there and do nothing now? He's... I don't know what it means. So he's like alternating like sort of grayscale back to green. Usually that means he's legendary in something. Like with dwarves do that, I believe that means they're legendary. But it might mean something else here. In the old you know, regular free version, I guess. 
That's what it meant. But I don't see anything that kind of says that. So, and he still seems completely healthy, despite sitting in fire. But he must he must have fire repellent scales or something like that. So let's take a look at the map here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Probably should have looked. Up. Oh, he burned down the bridge here. Oh no. Our bridge right here is burned down because I didn't make it fire safe or magma safe or anything. That's a problem. Another cat's dead. Uh, luckily, we still have this bridge. So as long as he doesn't path down here and get this bridge, we should be okay. But that's a big if. Because the fire is currently pathing down here. I'm just going to try to see if the fire will head down this ramp or not. Yes, things are collapsing. I'm well aware. Okay, it looks like it's kind of bypassing this channel here. Okay, it's killing that cat skeleton, maybe? Ooh, FPS. Or are you not going to die from fire? Did all these guys just survive getting just torched? Or maybe... I don't know. Okay, our other bridge is also going to get burned down. Again, this is why you have multiple layers of defense, but I still don't know if this is going to save us here. Alright, where... Is there a dragon around? I don't know. When he's chilling here, he can very easily now, because our bridge is on fire, the bridge is open here, he can path right in here and just burn down this bridge and th that would be the end of the... F I mean, there's no way. I mean, we're churning out as much steel as we can right now. Dog boiling blood. Amazing. So, we'll see what we can do. But being on a... Having a bridge down one z level might huge asterisk after might but might actually save us here smoke ashes the corpse of some guy getting cooked and he's just hanging out here he has no interest it looks like and actually can he not go through over water is that why like he has all these guys right here oh we're past that's why derp Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where can I go, dude? stuff getting collapsed yeah in the meantime uh let's go ahead and set up another squad for no reason in particular uh just whatever like this give me some steel the dies of mightiness let's hope you live up to your name <clears throat> assign leader no one has any relevant skills i'm just gonna kind of pick someone who doesn't really matter mechanic sure and then we'll go from there. So all the way down. We have a couple of novice fighters here. I'm just going to pick just because. Skilled wrestler. No, novice sword dwarf. I don't think it's going to really help us much. Mace. All right, competent hammer door. If that's good, if we get some more, we have more steel. Oops, um, that'll help. And then, yeah, just pick random people. The rest of the time, a gelder, <clears throat> another gelder. <clears throat> hey, that skill is totally relevant. 
If you're a Gelder and you're going into the military, you know what you're doing. You know what to do. And just real quick, we have the equipment already set up. The schedule should be the same. No, it's not. Uh, edit this one. Delete. Just set it to like four, whatever. Add it. Done. And then copy this. Paste. 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 Okay, that should be it. Done. And then we're going to copy this one. So one. So this one. This one. This one. This one. Yeah, all right, that's your training right there. That regimen. Uh, go back. Back. This one, so your monthly schedule is that. Good. Not the greatest menu system in the world, but whatever, it's fine. Um, and then. It's just hopefully y'all are getting ready. I might have to set them to ready in a second. Emu is getting killed. I'm telling you, if we survive this, man, I don't know what to say. And I'm pretty sure it's that last uh, artifact we made that was like 15,000 dwarf bucks or whatever that triggered the dragon the head this way. Talented observer, fighter, archer, biter, and striker. Do we still not have any more information about this guy other than that? No. All right, let's see where he goes. Like we still have a bridge here. Oh, he's moving a little bit. This bridge didn't burn down. It was made out of birch. Feels like it should have. So yeah, I guess the fire doesn't do a whole lot against... Uh, uh, they don't seem super happy about it. They're running away, but like this guy's like pretty much caught in it, and you're fine. So, but yeah, everything is just collapsing. All the trees and whatnot are just collapsing. Our floor up a level survived, which is nice. Sure, let's get a wear skink. Keep that moving. Cause why not? So we lost our butcher shop. The Ring of Fire. Johnny Cash would be proud. It's gonna burn the whole map. Uh. I mean, what else am I supposed to do here? We're making steel. I'm not going to the surface right now. I'm not opening things up to a dragon and a gigantic siege of undead experiments and whatnot. Like, what am I supposed to do here other than just watch the dragon who doesn't feel anything while in conflict or experiencing trauma? Forty-one and forty-one. So he's got eighty-two kills. Dwarf. Or collapses. Low FPS right now. I apologize for that, but there's literally nothing I can do. Oh, we, we're out of gems. Sounds like. Let's see if we can find some gems real quick. I guess that's something we can do. Uh, let's just do this whole area right here. we'll find some gems again giving our guys something to do what, what are you are you the necromancer guy 
No, you're a recent butcher. Are you part of our are you part of our group right now? Did you join us? The closed books. I don't think you are. Why are you down here? I love the undead thoughts. Just didn't feel anything. No matter what it is, just didn't feel anything. Because why would they feel anything? They're undead. Uh, 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 uh. Something's happening. Don't do it. Okay, yeah, get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go this way. Okay. I don't even know what you tried to kill there. Are you leaving? You feel satisfied? Just toward. Oh, you're going after kangaroo. Run! Oh, you're dead. What now? Not the undead guys, just the kangaroos and my bridges. Oh my goodness. Literally, like, I can't, like, there's a siege going on and then a dragon shows up. Unreal. All right, let's see if we found any, uh, Good gems here. Any over here? Yes, there are plenty here. Let's go ahead and set some. Oh, the lag. Take my click. Oh, man. This is so bad. All right. Auto cut those gems. I don't see any others here. Oof. It is just chugging right now. Hopefully we're getting more gems out of this digging here. Yes, things are collapsing. I'm well aware. Don't need an alert for collapsing things. I mean, normally you do, but... I mean, what are you going to do when there's a dragon just burning everything and everything's collapsing around it? Uh, Where'd my dragon go? My dragon. That's why the FPS is so low. <laughs> Killing emus. Worth it. Good. He did it. You killed him. You feel good about yourself? What's this? Leaf. Oh, you killed another kangaroo. I keep thinking he's pathing off the boat. Uh, 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 uh. You want to leave? Leave. Leave. Just leave. Follow him real quick. All right. Zoom. In the water. Up. All right. Now let's see him totally tear. All right. Kill that guy in the water. Good. Yeah. Fight. 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 There's a lot more over here. Come on. Oh no! Don't go! Don't go across the river again. Ah! Oh, can't catch a break. Killed two of those guys. Up uh, for a kangaroo. And remind me not to embark on Australia next time. Between the dragons and the kangaroos and the undead, the night experiments. Surely it's a dangerous place. Incredibly, some of the grass is already growing back. That's how long this has been going on. Wasn't I talking about setting up like a beekeeping industry like two episodes ago? Look look what has transpired since then. This is why you should have no ambition in Dwarf Fortress. Because as soon as you do, a dragon shows up and just burns your map down. Alright, let's see if, we, see if we got some gems going. Thank goodness for this bridge right here. Which I need to go ahead and deconstruct and make out of like... I don't know, obsidian or something. More kangaroos dying. More things collapsing. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know. Yes, you know anything is the fire mostly was on one half of the map and it's kind of traveling now on the other side, but yeah. Do we have gems? No, I still need gems. All right, let's go down a little bit. Let's see if we can find some down here. Anything obvious around here? No, wow. Interesting. 
Let's just like see if we can find anything this way. We should, there had to be some gems in this gig. Yeah, there's still a whole lot more they gotta cut down. So, should be fine. We'll, we'll find more. And if not, I mean, it's not like we're getting a caravan anytime imminently. Dragon bites the goblin hammer men corpse in the head and the separate part sails off to the mark. The dragon claws the human hammer and corpse in the head and the Are those two different? Yeah, one's goblin, one's human. That is amazing. Two shots, two heads off. That's amazing. Alright, we're gonna go back to following this this dude. He might actually be kind of a savior to us. We're probably gonna like build a statue to him. Assuming he doesn't actually, you know, kill everybody. Including our dwarves, but yeah. Alright, come on. Yeah. Alright, kill that thing. Good. He's seriously injured. Oh no. Left front foot is cut open. Left front foot is dented. Left front leg is cut open. <sighs> that doesn't sound that bad. That doesn't sound like seriously injured to me. Right? Like seriously injured, I'm thinking like can't walk, can't breathe, you know, or having trouble breathing. Something like that. But your foot has a cut. I mean, dented sucks, but you're you're a dragon. You're fine. All right, we gotta check on our our steel here. Uh, since there's a save, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put a cut in here. Uh, we'll see you next episode. Uh, we'll just continue watching what this dragon's doing. I mean, I feel bad. There's nothing I can do right now other than just kind of let's try to find some gems so we can keep encrusting our mugs uh, and keep hopefully setting up a military at some point. But there's no way with this guy one shotting everyone that I'm sending my dwarves out here. I need to save my dwarves, uh, my military dwarves, for uh, for my my raising of the, the Necromancer Tower. I can deal with future dragons later. For now, we really need to take care of that Necromancer Tower. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to kind of get anywhere with this fort. So that's going to be our, our goal right now. They are our absolute rivals. They are our enemies. They've sent, this is their third, if not fourth, attempt at sieging us. Um, and they're just, they've killed too many of our guys. They've decimated our wildlife, um, and attracted all kinds of other unwanted, unwanted attention. So next episode, uh, we're just going to kind of continue watching this. Hopefully these guys will, the siege will leave. The dragon will, will get bored or run out of things to kill and get out of here. And then we can, uh, we can start our, our revenge tour. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.